Two men are dead and another man is being questioned by police after a house fire in Elizabethtown. WDRB's Darby Bean tells us why police are not able to say whether the fire is what killed the men and why the investigation turned to a nearby hotel. This is about as close as we've been able to get. Police and the fire department have all of Hinnon Lane blocked off while they investigate. It's really sad and I hope that they figure out what happened. Wednesday morning, a house at the end of the small street in Elizabethtown was surrounded with police tape, a fire truck and investigators. Police say the home caught fire. Firefighters found two men dead inside. Uh, at this time, I am not comfortable calling this any more than a death investigation with suspicious circumstances. Information about the victims names or how they died has not been released. Just up the road, a neighbor who didn't want to show her face on camera said she was awake when first responders started to arrive. I heard the sirens and I saw the flickering and I looked out the window and it was on fire. Police say investigators found a man at a nearby hotel who they think has information on what happened. Investigators are questioning him, but he has not been called a suspect and no charges have been filed. There were potentially some someone left, someone fled the area this morning at a high rate of speed. Uh, there's nothing to indicate that, that, that that's not necessarily indicative of their involvement in the crime, but it's certainly suspicious within the close proximity of, of when the initial event occurred. Police couldn't say if the man they're interviewing is the same person who drove away from the area that morning. The cause of the fire has not been released. Police say there is no threat to the community. We'll continue to follow this and keep you updated on air and online. Reporting in Elizabethtown with photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, Darby Bean, WDRP News.